Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page headed 17th May 2157, she wrote, "Today Tommy found a real book. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. They turned the pages." which were yellow and crinkly and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on the screen you know and then when they turned back to page before it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time gi said tommy what a waste when you are thorough with the book you just throw it away I guess our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with mine, said Maggie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telly books as Tommy had. He was 13. She said, "Where did you find it?" "In my house." He pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic. "What's it about?" school margie was scornful school what is there to write about school i hate school margie always hated school but now she hated it more than ever the mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector He was a round little man with a red face and whole box of tools with dials and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple then took the teacher apart. Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again but he knew after an hour or so that it was again large and black and ugly. with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked that wasn't so bad the part margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers she always had to write them out in a punch code they made her learn when she was 6 years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time The inspector had smiled and patted Margie's head after he had finished. He said to her mother, "It's not the little girl's fault, Mrs. Jones. I think the geography sector was gate a little too quickly. Those things happen some time. Have slowed it up to an average 10-year level. Actually, the overall pattern of our progress is quite satisfactory." And he patted Margie's head again. Margie was disappointed. She had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether. They had once taken Tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely. So she said to Tommy, "Why would anyone write about school?" Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes, "Because it's not our kind of school, stupid." This is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. He added loftily, pronouncing the word carefully, centuries ago. Maggie was hurt. Well, I don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago. She read the book over his shoulder for a while, then said, "Anyway, they had a teacher. Sure, they had a teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher." it was a man a man how could a man be a teacher well he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions a man isn't smart enough sure he is my father knows as much as my teacher he knows almost as much i betcha 
Maggie wasn't prepared to dispute that. She said, "I wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me." Tommy screamed with laughter. "You don't know much, Maggie. The teachers didn't live in the house. They had a special building, and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing. Sure, if they were the same age." But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl he teaches, and that each kid has to be taught differently. Just the same, they didn't do it the way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I didn't say I didn't like it, Maggie said quickly. She wanted to read about those funny scores. They weren't even half finished. When Maggie's mother called, Maggie, school. Maggie looked up. Not it, Mama. Now said Mrs. Jones, and it's probably time for Tommy too. Maggie said to Tommy, "Can I read the book some more with you after school?" Maybe, he said nonchalantly. He walked away, whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Maggie went into the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom, and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time every day, except Saturday and Sunday, because her mother said little girls learned better if they learned at regular hours. The screen was lit up, and it said, "Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions." Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. Maggie did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came, laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things. so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it and the teachers were people the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 magi was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days she was thinking about the fun they had by isaac asimo Civil engineering is one of the oldest disciplines of engineering. It involves the design, construction and management of infrastructure, highways, airports, harbors, bridges, tunnels, ensuring supply of high quality water among others, and hence the term is used in a very broad sense. It may not be an exaggeration. to state that almost every major project has a contribution from a civil engineer the role of the civil engineer has been continuously changing earlier engineers would focus their efforts on production of site plans crank out drawings turn them over to contractors and pretty much be done with it but uh, things are much more sophisticated these days Development of landscape today requires thoughtful planning and an understanding of regulations. Permit requirements are more stringent and more numerous. Schedules are constrained and owners are mindful of their expenditures. Civil engineers today are expected to stay with the clients and guide them through the approval and construction process while offering strategy advice and their experience civil engineers are multifaceted taking on roles and responsibilities that are varied environmental civil engineers focus on all round development of design and construction skill of working in harmony with nature with a focus on environmental issues such as waste water and sewerage disposal engineers operate as guardians of nature structural engineers are responsible for design of buildings offshore oil platforms etc highway engineers are responsible for design of traffic flow planning 
roadway geometry design etc structural engineers are involved in the design of small residential buildings multi storied buildings microwave towers transmission lines for electricity and pipe plants for water oil and gas supply construction engineers plan and coordinate construction projects they may have a job title such as construction superintendent general superintendent project engineer etc construction managers evaluate and determine appropriate construction methods and the most cost effective plan and schedule this may require sophisticated estimating and scheduling techniques construction managers regularly review engineering and architectural drawing and specifications to monitor progress and ensure compliance with the plans and schedules and thus it would be advisable for students to undergo practical industry experience through internships cooperative education programs or work experience in the industry another key discipline is quantity surveying technical skills acquired in areas of estimating costing and specification together with a good knowledge of various procurement rules tendering procedure and contracting essentials make quantity surveyors an inseparable part of the construction industry job opportunities exist in design offices consulting firms government departments such as municipalities environmental agencies as well as with the contracting firms ss rao